Uh, the season's been interesting. This is going to be the first season in about three plus years that I've teamed with a different team. I mean, I was recently uh, kicked off of my old team final boss for, I was told as personal and, you know, performance issues. Our decision to drop or to replace Walsh was kind of a long and obviously a hard decision, you know, like it was a long thought out decision. Uh, team, we just weren't getting along like we used to as a team inside the game, outside, and mainly outside the game. Toward the end of Halo 2, you know, we're still placing well, like there's not really a point to change. But as soon as we start not placing well, and we're already having issues and stuff, like we just, we thought it was better for the, for all of us. The, the Walshie decision really was like a long time coming, like things, not necessarily, like it's not like it was to the point where we were going to kick him off for that long, but like things were just getting worse for over a year. It was a, bunch of personal things that I won't discuss. When we dropped Zane, it was like he wasn't practicing enough back in 06. But with Dave, it wasn't that. It was like personal things kind of, and we didn't want to hurt him anymore. All right, performance issues. You know, had I ever gotten some sort of warning, I would have been on 12 hours a day, every single day, you know, without question. If I was like, oh, my teammates don't think I'm holding my weight, I would change their mind in a heartbeat. If it was like personal stuff, I mean, I don't see what was going on that was so bad that couldn't be worked through. We weren't getting along as well outside the game as we used to, and then that was affecting our in-game, and none of us were playing well, and none of us wanted to practice, and, and I think it was just better for all of us. Like, sucks that it had to be Dave to go, but we just felt like that would bring our team closer together. Those issues, I mean, if I had to name a couple of them that I thought, like, I honestly thought it, it was kind of like some personal stuff between, like, me and Ogre One, like in the off season, Ogre One would fly out to Australia for like three months. And then like, you know, when we get done with practice, like he'd be kinda like last on first off. I've dropped everything for this thing, for gaming to be honest. Like I'd be at the Ogre's house probably three months out of the year. And so that's a lot of time for them devoting away from home, away from my family, from my friends, you know, girlfriend here and there. I felt like a lot of times I was making some sacrifices that they weren't making. I think they also felt like that we all put in the same amount of work and Maybe they didn't get the same out of it. Even though Walsh is captain, like he doesn't make our strats and stuff or stuff like that. Like I think that kind of had stuff to do with it. I'm never like, I'm Barnard, I'm the best player. I don't need my teammates. I lead them or anything. It's more like, anytime I get an interview, they're the first people I credit. You know, could have done it without Ogres, could have done it without Strong Side. I mean, my team's everything, and I felt like I was kind of left out to dry. I talked to the Ogres, and then once we found everything out and I, like figured out what we were gonna do, uh, that's when talk to Walsh. Things were just awkward and I didn't know what to like say and but I think we ended up on good terms and I'm just happy to still be friends with him. I consider myself on like pretty good terms with strong side but he's just so irresponsible at this age like that's why I can't really be mad at him because I know you know how the situation probably went down like the ogres kind of like wanted this team change to happen and he just kind of went with the flow like he's never kind of the person to put his foot down to like stand for something so that's that's what kind of makes me mad in one hand he's like because I heard from his friend directly, like he didn't want me off the team. But if he wanted it to happen like that, he should have put his foot down, like, no, guys, let's make this team thing happen, or you know, I'll stick with Walsh, that sort of thing. So I'm mad at him for that. But at the same time, it's just I know, you know, kind of how he is deep down, and I know he's, you know, means well. Replacing Walsh on Final Boss was extremely hard on me. I look up to him like so much, and it's if it was like the Bulls, you're like kicking off like Scotty Pippen. It's like. The Ogres and Walshie are legends. Well, I heard from other people at first. I called them up one day, all three of their phones, call and leave a voicemail, and no one calls me back. I called the next day, called three of their phones again. Eventually, Ogre 2 answers, and he's like, uh, how's it going? I was like, not too bad. I just wanted to call and see if I could clear up some rumors or something. He's like, yeah, about that. Um, yeah, we're going to the team change. It's a business decision. And so we all get in and talk about it, and. You know, I brought up those concerns. They're like, well, yeah, well, we didn't mean for other people to hear about it first. I'm more so concerned about, you know, the different steps they were taking. It seemed like this went straight from you thinking about it to it happening. And I just figured we'd talk about it before any sort of thing happened. That's, that's one of the main things, like I said, I'm mad about is how it was handled. The run that we had is, will be unparalleled through probably, like, the, the history of, like, MLG. 